Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mitzi Managa and I'm going to tutor Building Science and 3. So today we're going to look at moments. Um, before you answer your questions, make sure you read the statement and understand it fully. So, let's get into it. In the statement, they say, a beam is loaded as shown below. Over and above the load shown, the beam has a self-weight of 1 kN per meter acting over the full length of the beam. This self-weight should be taken as a uniformly distributed load. Now, looking at this beam, we already have a distributed load of 18 kN per meter. But in the statement they, sell, they say, the beam has a self-weight of 1 kN per meter acting over the full length of the beam. So this simply says, let me say this is the beam that we are having right here. Then they saying this one kilonewton per meter, it, it is acting over the full length. Over the full length means from here to here. So it is from here to here and this is their one kilonewton per meter so because we have this 18 kilonewton per meter we are going to add them both we are going to add them both but before we add them both we are going to convert this 18 kilonewton per meter and convert this one kilonewton per meter we are going to start with this 18 kilonewton per meter to convert this as you can see it is from here to here so you're going to say 18 times 4 which is give which it gives you 72 so that 72 is going to act in the middle of the beam and it's going to act as your vertical as your vertical this uh, oh. Is a vertical force you have 72 kilo newton and then we're going to convert convert this one kilonewton per meter because it is acting over the full length of the beam we are going to say one kilonewton times 10 because 3 plus 4 plus 3 is 10 and the one kiloton per meter is acting from this side to this side so it's going to be one times ten which is ten right which is ten then you're going to say ten plus this 72 you're going to get 82 kilo newton yeah so okay to get this 82 guys i said we are going to convert 18 kilonewton into a vertical force so 18 kilonewton is acting from here to here then you are going to say 18 times 4 then you put the vertical force in the middle and then from here you are going to have two meters two meters because you put the vertical force in the middle of four so and then you have this one kiloton per meter that's acting from this rh to this rr you are going to say one times ten the ten comes from three plus four plus three and then you get 10 then you take that 10 and add it with this 72 you got from 18 times 4 it gives you 82 kilonewton now you have the vertical force yeah that's that has been converted from the distributed loads so let's get into the questions 
I think we are ready for the questions. So obviously the first question will say calculate the reaction at the right hand roller support. The reaction at the right hand roller support is this one. So when you calculate this reaction, you know that you're going to start on this side. So you're going to say moments moments about rh right so okay let me say number one we are calculating the reaction at the right hand roller support we are going to say rr times the distance of the beam the distance of the as you can see the rr starts from here and ends here so it's 10 so the distance is going to be 10 equal to we start from here it's 15 sine 60 because it is at an angle of 60 times 3 3 is the distance from the from this to yeah from this to this plus we have another 15 times 3 this one it's not at an angle so we don't have any angle to to multiply with so we have 82 now we have 82 so we say 82 times from here to here it's going to be 2 plus 3 which is 5 then plus we have okay sorry we have this 13 that is acting at an angle so it is acting at, a, at an angle of 60 not 30 this 30 they just put it there to confuse you guys but this vertical force is acting at an angle of 60 here so here at 60 degrees i don't know if you can see that so we're going to have 13 sine 60 multiply by 2 plus 2 plus 3 which is 7 then we have another 13 but it's not at an angle so it's 13 times 7 we're going to have rr multiply by 10 that's equal to you punch this on your calculator let's do it and see what we've got we have six we have 15 sine 60 times 3 once we have 15 times 3 plus we have 82 times 5 plus we have 13 sine 60 times 7 we have 13 times 7 we have six six three comma seven eight then we're going to divide this six six three comma seven eight by ten divide your rr by ten because you're looking for rr not for rr ten so you divide by ten then your rr is let's see six six three comma seven eight divided by ten we have six six comma three eight kilo newton that's how you calculate your um right hand roller support reaction so question number two they will ask you to calculate the vertical component so we're going to say the vertical component that's equals to the reaction of the right hand roller support which is 66,38 minus all the vertical forces acting on a beam not the distances the forces only we have 15 sine 60 we have plus 15 we have 82 we have 13 sine 60 we have 13 
and this is equal to you place that on your calculator let's see six okay sorry it's your six six comma three eight minus into fifteen sine sixty plus fifteen plus eight two plus thirteen sine sixty plus thirteen you have minus six seven comma eight seven but you know that you cannot have a negative vertical component so your vertical component it will be equal to six seven comma eight seven kilo newton because it is negative it's going to be it's going to it's going down sorry it's acting downwards ne? number three question three obviously it's horizontal component so your horizontal component we're going to consider the the forces that are acting on an angle only so as you can see here we have two forces that are acting at an angle so we have 15 um sign okay when calculating your horizontal component you're going to use cos theta not sine okay cos theta so you have 15 cos 60 but this vertical force it's going to the right so when it goes to the right it means it is positive also this one is going to the right means it's also positive so you're going to say 15 cos 60 plus 13 cos 60 punch that in your calculator 15 cos 60 plus 13 cos 60 you have 14 kilonewton and it's positive so it's going to the right then number four we are calculating um the resultant so to find the resultant you're going to say r equal to the square root of the vertical component squared plus the horizontal component squared and you have vertical component you have six seven comma eight seven all squared plus 14 all squared punch that on your calculator you get the answer six seven comma eight seven squared um sorry squared plus 14 squared we have six nine comma three zero kilonewton then the last question you have to calculate it's either the, the, the angle or the direction but either way you have to start by calculating the angle so we're gonna calculate the angle you know when calculating the, the angle we use tan theta equal to always it has to be vertical component over horizontal component right so the vertical component we have six seven comma eight seven over fourteen right <coughs> punch that on your calculator we have fourteen sorry we have four comma eight five but we are looking for theta not tan theta so you are going to say theta equal to then you say act theta sorry i mean actan um actan into 4.85 you have you have 7 8.35 degrees right so the direction the direction 
will be as you can remember we have the vertical component that is acting downward and we have the horizontal component acting to the right so the resultant will be here and then at an angle of 78 degrees which is this angle so the direction the direction of rh is 78,35 degrees north east there you go then we are done thank you for watching this video